bum 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 the peter dislike show bum 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 i'm asking for another prayer request and you can pray for me by leaving a dislike on this video now later this week i need to confront uh i don't know if i should say friend of mine for his um, ableist remarks at a recent um, event. I, um, I haven't gone to this board game meetup for a number of weeks and um, this quote-unquote friend was upset at me the last time I went there because the meetup was being held in a restaurant and I really couldn't um, order anything in the restaurant. I have a lot of dietary restrictions. And he, he, he couldn't care less about that. The other problem is that I walked out in the middle of a game because um, I have um, anxiety problems. And he also couldn't give a damn about that. I told him that, you know, uh, that I, you know I, I have a difficult time with loud environments. I'm sorry for leaving in the middle of the game. And he basically made it clear that um, it's not up to the rest of the group to accommodate me when nobody else in the group complained. In fact, I get along with um, quite a number of people in that group. So I'm planning, here's what I plan to do about the not ordering food in the restaurant. It's Christmas time. I'm planning on going to the bank to get some real nice crispy $20 bills to give each of the wait staff there a good tip because uh, obviously they've done a very good job of maintaining the place. And I do feel sorry I can't really order anything there. And um, to my friend, his name is Billy, I plan to uh, confront him about, um, uh, I have no, no problem with the restroom, I'm just about to give him a good tip, you know, uh, and uh, I'm going to confront him about, that was very uncalled for, his remarks about um, how it was my problem when I'm really trying to do my best to uh, fit into the crowd. I'm sure most people, even though I walked out halfway through the game, most people still had a fun time, right? No, nobody's there. It's not like it's a championship of some sort where people really need to finish that game or anything like that. And so I, I plan to call them out on that, you know, that we're here to have a fun time. And if I need to keep my body safe, whether it be from food allergies or from autism kind of problems, I'm going to choose safety before um, uh, the, the, uh, the games because it's only a game and we're all here to have fun. I'm sure uh, you would prefer to have fun rather than an ambulance show up to this place, right? I'm, I'm probably never going to be in a situation where an ambulance is going to show up, but you know, an analogy like that can't hurt. Now, the reason I want your prayer is that you know, in the past, I have tried to talk to people and reason with people. There are two things that I tend to run into. One is that discussions like this tend to get me very worked up. And oftentimes, I have a difficult time separating being, um, uh, putting my foot down versus getting angry. I have a hard time separating the two. I, I tend to get angrier and angrier, especially if I have to repeat the same kind of situation over and over and over and over again, right? That, number one, that. Number two, sometimes people like Billy will say something that I didn't anticipate and um, throw everything out the window, right? I, I need to, here's what I'm going to do to be prepared this time. I'm actually going to write down all of this stuff. That's why I'm recording a video. So uh, by the time I write this down, there's probably going to be more details that I didn't think of in this video, which is good. But People like that have a tendency to say the most unexpected of things, right? First of all, I didn't even anticipate hearing an ableist remark at what's supposed to be a fun game, right? This isn't World Chess Championship, right? If I walk out of a game there, well, first of all, I'm sure you can walk out of that too, right? You can throw the game if you wanted to. I'm sure there are people who walk out due to autism kind of issues, right? Um, so even there, you probably wouldn't run into that, right? Although you might get banned from trying to compete again, right? Um, but I, I have a tendency to get thrown by people who, who, who say things that I did not anticipate. You know, and then some people wonder, well, you know, I, I just won the number one AI in the world for backgammon. and how do I do things like that? Well, the thing about that is, yes, sometimes writing backgammon AIs, you tend to see things that you didn't expect to see. Guaranteed, right? 
The difference is that I could put aside the computer and come back to it. Let me give you an example. Back on the 50th anniversary of when JFK was shot, I wrote an AI for the game of Chinese Dark Chess. We recently commiserated 60 years since he was shot, and I went to dig up the old game that I had written, and I actually found some good stuff in there and tuned it up a little bit more given my recent experiences. And um, see, you don't have the luxury of doing that with Billy, right? If, you, if he says something unexpected, you can't put him in a closet for 10 years and come back to that, right? That's a big, big barrier that I have yet to overcome. How, how to put something aside to come. Let's say I go to the meetup and he says something else that's ableist or sexist or something else like that. I wish there was a word I could use. Can we come back to that discussion 10 years from now? Maybe not 10 years, but 10 hours from now at least, right? I wish there was a way to do that. But short of that, why don't you pray for me by disliking this video? This is the Peter Dislike Show! Bum, 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 The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.